the peninsular plateau of india today we will be also learning about the peninsular plateau that is the deccan plateau malwa plateau and chhota nagpur plateau it is made up of crystalline hard crystalline rocks of igneous and metamorphic origin the deccan plateau is a huge plateau in the western and southern india it rises 200 meters in north and more than 1000 meters in the south forming a raised triangle within the south pointing triangle of the indian coastline and the parent peak or the highest peak of the area is anaimudi in kerala typically the deccan plateau is made up of basalt uh, extending up to bhor ghat near uh, karjit this is an in ex uh, extrusive igneous rocks also in certain sections of the region we can find granite which is an intrusive igneous rocks now ex uh, extrusive igneous rocks are the rocks which are found above the surface of the earth and intrusive are the ones which are found inside the earth's crust so the deccan plateau is interesting to scientists because it was formed by lava flow millions of years ago melted rock from beneath the earth's surface had spilled out over the ground like a fissure volcano and the lava spread out and hardened into a layer of rock on the surface so this rock the upper part of uh, the rock it has a layer of soil which is very very fertile it is known as the black soil and since it is suitable for the cultivation of cotton therefore it is often referred as the black cotton soil also as you may know plateaus are also called table lands the peninsula plateau is also a table land this table land was formed when gondwana land broke and the pieces drifted apart gondwana land is the southern part of the ancient supercontinent pangaea with angara land in the northern part thus the peninsula plateau is part of a very old land mass this is also evident in the composition of the plateau it is composed of old crystalline igneous and metamorphic rocks What kind of relief would you find on a tableland? The peninsula plateau consists of both broad and shallow valleys and rounded hills. Based on the relief, the peninsula plateau has two broad divisions: the central highlands and the Deccan plateau. so children you must have had a rough idea about the peninsula plateau how it had originated it was not joined with india it had joined when pangaea had broken and the southern part of india had drifted towards the north and it had joined the northern part of india the northern part is known as the angara land and the southern part is known as the gondwana land and hence when these two land masses collided with each other the himalayan mountains were formed now the deccan plateau was formed by the igneous rocks that means the primary rocks by which the earth was made so it is an ancient land mass made up of hard crystalline rocks of igneous and metamorphic origin the plateau is triangular in shape as you can see in the map and it tapers towards the south it does not cross river kaveri so it is broad in the north the deccan plateau and tapers towards the south the plateau extends from the aravalli range this aravalli range there are small plateaus here also with various names and the main ones being the malwa plateau the chhota nagpur plateau and the deccan plateau 
so it is bounded by Ravli range in the west up to the Chota Nagpur in the uh, eastern part of India and it is divided into the peninsula plateau is divided into uh, two parts by river Narmada this is river Narmada flowing here so this divides the main plateau with Malwa plateau now the uh, uh, Deccan plateau it is it has the western ghats in the west and eastern ghats in the east as well as the Vindyan range and the Satpura range in the north so this is the boundary of the Deccan plateau here I have marked the Himalayas also which you will mark I'll send you a map where you will mark Himalayas and the northern plains then the plateaus and various mountains when we do the map work now the Malwa plateau and the Deccan plateau it is given in your book as the difference between the Malwa plateau and the Deccan plateau so Malwa plateau is bounded by Vindhyan range in the south so this is the Malwa plateau it is bounded by the Vindhyan range in the south the Aravli range in the west and Chota Nagpur plateau towards the east it is drained by the rivers Chambal and Bitwa as well as Son Damodar also this, these rivers are Damodar rivers so since it is an extension from uh, Malwa plateau to, Ch to Chota Nagpur plateau therefore we are taking all the names of the rivers this is Chambal, Bitwa, Son and Damodar river whereas Deccan plateau is bounded by Satpura range in the north this is the Satpura range in the north and uh, the western the western ghats in the west and the eastern ghats in the east now it is drained by Malwa plateau is drained by I told you the name of the rivers and the Deccan plateau is drained by this is Mahanadi river then the Godavari Krishna it does not touch Kaveri river it is still the Kaveri river but it does not cross the Kaveri river so there are four rivers Mahanadi, uh, Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri.